Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to continue the lesson Chapter 1 Patterns and Sequences for the subtopic 1.2, which is Sequences. For the students that first joining my class today, don't forget to give my video a like and subscribe my channel. Let's start our class. Before proceed for the class, Let's have a look on the learning standard. 1.2.1 explain the meanings of sequence. 1.2.2 identify and describe the pattern of a sequence, hence complete and extend the sequence. In the previous lesson, we had learned what is pattern. Do you remember? The definitions of patterns. The patterns are a list of number or objects arranged based on a rule or design. Let me show you an activity before we proceed to the definitions of sequence. Recognizing the pattern in a number sequence. This is given a hexagon. Okay, so we can we can label it as one. Okay, or state it as one hexagon. Okay, the next pattern, which is two, three. Okay, three hexagon. Okay, so we can write it as three. Okay, the next pattern, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that there are five hexagon. Okay, so the next one will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, then the last one we can see actually this is a seven hexagon. Next example, okay, is given two rhombus, so we can state the number two, okay, for the sequence. Okay, so the second pattern, which is one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have four rhombus here, so we can state the number four. Okay. So the next one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there are six rhombus. Okay, so we can state the number six there. Okay, so actually two, four, six can form a sequence, which is the pattern is plus two. Okay, how about the next one? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, because actually we can see the pattern here is plus 2. Okay, so the last one is 8. Okay? From the activity, you notice that the pattern is increasing, right? Okay, therefore actually the pattern is plus 2. Okay, from the patterns, we can write out the sequence which is 2, 4, 6 and 8. Based on the activity, the pattern can be determined by following the previous arrangements. Okay, therefore, we can make a conclusion that sequence is a set of numbers or objects arranged according to a certain pattern. Next, example for determining whether each set of numbers is a sequence. Okay, so for these questions, we need to determine whether the given set of number is a sequence or not okay to identify whether it's a sequence or not we must find out the pattern okay so what is the patterns of these questions from 5 to 10 to 15 okay we can notice that actually the pattern is at 5 okay so from 10 to 15 at 5 as well okay we can proceed for the next term which is at 5 also equal to 20. So next one also same thing, which is 20 plus 5 is 25. Okay, so we can uh, we can see that actually this set of, of number, okay, 
pattern is set 5. Okay, so therefore, the set of number is a sequence. Another set of number, okay, which is 6, 8, 12, 20, and 27. Okay, we must identify the patterns in order for us to determine whether it's a sequence or not. Okay, so from 6 to 8 is plus 2. From 8 to 12, hmm, is it at 2? No, it's at 4. Okay, so from 12 to 20, at 8. Okay, how about 20 to 27? It's at 7. Okay, so actually from there you can see the, is there, is there any patterns of this uh, set of number? There's no patterns, right? Okay, because from here we can see plus 2, plus 4, plus 8, and plus 7. Okay, actually there is no patterns for this set of numbers. Therefore, pattern is none. Okay, so we can make a conclusion that the set of number is not a sequence. One more example. The set of numbers is negative 7, negative 2, 3, 8, and 13. This set of number is a sequence or not? We have to determine the patterns. Only we can make a conclusion whether it is sequence or not. Okay. Let us determine the pattern, okay? So from negative 7 to negative 2, okay? The pattern is at 5. How about from negative 2 to 3? Yes, it's at 5 as well, okay? From 3 to 8, also at 5. 8 to 13, also at 5, okay? So actually from here, we can see there is a pattern, which is at 5 okay so the pattern is at 5 therefore we can make a conclusion that the set of number is a sequence let's have a look another type of questions complete the number sequence below okay so this is a given sequence so we have to complete the missing numbers okay so what is the missing number that we have to fill in Okay, so before we fill up the empty boxes, okay, we need to identify the pattern first. Okay, so what is the patterns? From 6 to 12 is at 6. Okay, so from 12 at 6, what number that you can get? Okay, from 12 you add 6, yes, you can get number 18. Okay, so 18 plus 6 so, you can get another answer, which is 24. Okay, double check with the last term, which is 24 plus 6. Is it equal to 30? Yes. Therefore, this sequence is correct by adding 6 to the previous term. Okay, so how about the second questions? Okay, the second question starting with negative 1 over 2. Okay, followed by 0. Okay, then two empty boxes, then followed by one, one over two. Okay, from negative one over two to zero, what is the patterns? Okay, you can see this is in increasing order. Okay, so actually it's plus one over two. Okay, when negative one over two plus one over two, we can get a zero. Okay, so from zero, we plus or we add one over two, we can get 1 over 2, okay, followed by another number, okay, which is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2, we can get 1, okay, as the answer, okay. So double check with the last term, when 1 plus 1 over 2, do we manage to get 1, 1 over 2? Yes, we can get 1, 1 over 2, therefore the pattern is correct, and the missing numbers that we fill in also Correct. Let's have a look on other questions. Okay, this is a uh, question number three. Okay, we need to complete the number sequence. Okay, so we check on the patterns. Okay, from here we cannot get the patterns, but from here eight and three, actually we can notice that actually the pattern is minus five. Okay, so we try it out for the first term. If minus five, we get 
okay? Uh, 18 minus 5, we can get 13, okay? So if 13 minus 5, can we get 8? Yes, we can get number 8, okay? Which is correct, okay? So 8 minus 5, we managed to get 3, okay? So means that the pattern is correct, which is minus 5, okay? So we can use the same pattern to get the consecutive, the, the following consecutive term. Okay, which is 3 minus 5, which is negative 2. Okay, then negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. Okay, so we already complete the number sequence. How about the questions number D? Okay, 0 0.5, 1.5, and 40.5. Okay, we miss out the two numbers here. Okay, what is the numbers here? So we identify or determine the pattern first before we complete the number sequence okay so from 0 0.5 to 1.5 how we get the 1.5 okay so actually 5 times 3 is 15 right okay so actually we can try out by using the number 0 0.5 multiplied by 3 okay so we can get 1.5 okay so try it out for the following numbers 1.5 times 3 okay so we can get 4.5 4.5 times 3, we will get 13.5. Okay, the last one, 13.5 times 3, can we get 40.5? Yes, we can get 40.5. Means that the patterns times 3 or multiply by 3 is correct. Okay, so when we can identify the patterns for the sequence, uh, then we can complete the number sequence by using the patterns. Besides complete the number sequence, students have to know how to complete the sequence if given objects. Okay, let's uh, have a look on the example. Okay, the first example, if it's given uh, a triangle, okay, then followed by a square, then a pentagon. Okay, then what is the object come next? Okay, so let's continue with a square and next one, pentagon. So what is the missing object? Okay, can you determine the missing object? Okay, so to determine the missing object, we have to observe the pattern. Okay, so from here, we can see which is a triangle, square, pentagon. Okay, then this is the missing one. Then we continue with the rectangle and pentagon. So what, you, what do you think on the missing one? Missing, uh, missing object? Okay, yes. Okay, the missing one is a triangle. Okay. So how about the last one? Okay, last one also is a triangle. Okay, so you identify the patterns of the object, then you can manage to find out the missing objects. Let's have a look on another example. It's given object, a circle, a square, a circle, another circle, then a square, and followed by the two missing objects. What is the two missing objects over there? Okay, can you identify or determine the object missing? From the sequence, okay, or we can observe the pattern. One circle, then one, there is one square, then followed by the two circle. Therefore, the continue for the two object here should be two squares, okay? So, this is the square here, okay, then followed by a Circle, okay? Actually, the next one should be three circles, then another one continue by the three squares. Can, man can all of you manage to get the correct answer for this? Next, AFL, assess for learning. I hope all the students can assess for themselves whether they can understand, so-so, or not understand about the subtopic 1.2 sequences. Students that cannot understand, Please rewatch the video. Please rate yourself from 5 to 5 whether you, uh, uh, you need help, you need more practice, you are almost there, you got it, or you are confident about this topic from 1 to 5 to rate for yourself. Thanks for joining my class today. I hope all the students can understand subtopic 1.2 sequences. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Stay tuned for the next video. See you all soon. Bye.